and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147, and I wanted to sneak in this unboxing as an extra bonus video because this has just arrived today. Um, and this is some of the new kits from Paint Gem. Now, as I'm unboxing these three new kits, they have just released yesterday another two but I still need to show you these three um, whoop, there we go get rid of the packaging with all the um, labels on Ooh, this is definitely gonna be watertight but these are some of their newer Newish within the last few weeks. So we have the masks edition, the doors edition, which is so pretty and colourful, and we have the gothic edition. So quite a few different ones. I say they have just released two more, which um, if you click on the link, you can go and have a look on the website of those but there is mushrooms which i absolutely adore can't tell you why but i adore it and want it and birthstones which is also beautiful but this first one we'll go for is gothic edition uh, we have released the cover papers and the stickers for all three of these uh, so we've created some names for these designs but in each tool, in each kit, you do get a toolkit. So I'll just go through one of them. I just mainly want to show you the designs up close. But you get a white tray, uh, one of the nice white trays. You get a couple of multi places. You get a pen with a single placer. You get some wax. You get a little squishy for popping on your pen and you get a little set of tweezers and you get that with each and every set. Gothic, oh look, so we do have quite a few greys, a little bit of green, but some oranges and reds as well. But this is what I wanna see. Let's get in to the pictures themselves. Oh, this one is gonna fit in my paint gem case. So I have a paint gem case, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yes, yeah, so 24 colors. Let me find it. It is here. Just had my weighing scales in the way of it and looks like I need to wipe it down. But this is my paint gem case. It holds up to 30 colors and holds the paintings. So, um, this one will fit in it, which is really good. But we have an eye within a rose, a sword in a heart, a skull. I think that's a lady. Um, then we have, is it a moth? I think it's a moth. A coffin. Oh, a heart, or oh, looks like two hearts. Maybe, maybe it's just the one in some roses. Then we have this skull in front of a mirror. Another rose held by a skeleton hand. A raven. Then we have a skeleton. Some of these are so fun. Uh, we have a skull. Another skull, but that's more like a ram skull. Then we have a coffin, a cross with roses, a gravestone, and a cursed. They are fun. You can see why all the red and stuff will get used in this one often. There is also quite a bit of black. Quite a lot of them are outlined in black. I found that with the Black Magic edition as well. Um, I like to do all the black first and then colour it in. So this is going to be one of my colouring sets. So there is quite a lot of black. I do all the black first and then I colour it in. So that's set number one. 
I'm going to move those boxes out of the way because I do tend to keep them a bit more like this. Let's go for masks. Um, these do have names on them. Uh, so they have named these masks. There are a couple that do have the same name. But let's have a look at the actual ones themselves. So this one has a lot more colours, as you can see. A lot of it, a lot brighter for this set. The door set has some amazing colours in as well. Uh, so this one is... 37 different colours but you do get your stickers with each set that tells you all the colours and symbols but look at some of these. Some of the colouring in these is absolutely fantastic. These are going to be so fun to do. Lots of different ones. I say there's African, there's Aztec, uh, Mexico, China, Venice. All sorts of different ones. That's like a mini totem pole. Oh, looks like a superhero. That looks like a Chinese one. Absolutely beautiful colours in some of these. Some of them are going to be so vibrant and pop so much when they're done. But yeah, I think this is a really, really fun Fun set, nice, colourful, different type of set to do there. So that is set number two to show you today. And then the third one is the doors. Sorry if you can hear the dog. Uh, you get 12 in this one, 12 different designs of doors. Do you get a toolkit? Another one that is more than 30 colours, so loads of bright colours in this one. We've got the stickers on the top. So this one has 38, 44, 44 different colours for this one. So we do end up bringing in some symbols, but let's have a look at the actual doors themselves. So we've got this gorgeous double blue door. I love the way it's got flowers around it and little plant pots as well. We've got a pink door, a wooden. That is a, such a good looking wooden door with stone around the outside. They are a little bit more confetti, these ones, especially when it comes to the likes of the flowers, but really, really helps with the definition. Do let me know if you have a front door that matches any of these. Some of these are absolutely stunning. We have another pink door, again, with some flowers. This one looks like it's decorated for Christmas. Looks like a little Christmas tree. We have a blue door, looks like it's more got fruit around it. Another double door in purple. And then another different type of purple double door. There are many photographers that take pictures of different and exciting doors. Um, so it would be interesting to know if, um, yeah, if any of you have doors that match any of these in the set. But they are the three most recent sets that I've got. As I say, if you do want any of these, uh, I do have a link in the description below. It's really helpful to me if you do click on that link. There is also a discount code down there as well. Um, but it helps me if you click on the link, whether you've used the code before or not. It's really helpful. But yes, these are the three nearly latest paint gem kits, but I was very excited as I say, they've arrived today. I wanted to get them unboxed. Uh, I have quite a few paint gem mini kits to de-kit, and I want to make sure that these are in my decision wheel for the potential next kit for me to do. 
um, so I'm excited to add these in. Uh, but do check out, you can sort the kits by newest to oldest if you want to also have a look at the mushrooms, which are adorable, um, and the birthstones, which are there as well. But let me know in the comments below which is your favourite. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.